Gabrielle Conan. Today, for the last time in the program, we're doing we're doing what we do. We're talking about what you're talking about around your dinner table, in the car with the kids as you stand in line at the grocery store or check in on Twitter. You may not realize it, but you've always helped set our agenda. Every day when we fill up our planning board with the topics we'll cover at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, your voices ring in our ears. So tell us one more time, what's the talk of the nation? 800-989-8255. Email us, talk at npr.org. You can also find us on Twitter. That's at T-O-T-N. And let's go to uh, Bob. Bob with us from Gainesville. Thank you, Neil. I find that uh, the Edward Snowden case has certainly been the talk of the nation. But the underlying issues uh, behind this are, are very much interesting to me and many others. The idea as to whether or not uh, what the government is doing in encroaching on our civil liberties and wading into our phone lines and whatnot, whether or not that is done in the name of security, uh, is, a, is a very interesting discussion. I feel that we should not trade our liberties for security. And, of course, the president for this was 9-11. Many might fear that we might have another 9-11 attack. And 9-11 being the false flag attack that it was with Building 7 being uh, a building 47 stories tall that fell in free fall speed in a matter of seconds, was not hit by any other airplane. Oh, uh, I, I see we have a truth there with us. Yeah, so, well, I, I think that's a very derogatory term. And perhaps on your last it's show... It's derogatory you know, because uh, you're talking scientific... Nonsense. I, I have Actually, to. I, I'm sorry to, to upbraid you. I'm sorry to upbraid you. I am sorry to upbraid you. Please, I try to listen with respect to callers, except when they have their facts flat wrong. Do uh, you think Building Seven is not a very telling incident, sir? I think it fell for different reasons, and the scientific community agrees with me. Well, more to the point, I agree with them. What do I know about Building 7? Well, the fact actually, is, the architects and engineers all are in on in our consensus. No, they uh, are not, Bob, Bob, and I'm sorry. Yes, there's a group called Architects and Engineers. Bob, I'm hanging up on you because this is nonsense. Thank you. Let's move right along. An interesting discussion, wasn't that? That is typical of mainstream media and how they actually converse today. I'm hanging up on you, Bob. It's ridiculous. It's nonsense. When we do have, oh, I don't how many architects and engineers now? Is it 1,400 who have been wanting to get an investigation of Building 7? It did fall in free fall speed. There is so much evidence that it was a controlled demolition, but you can't have a discussion with anybody because, oh, oh, you're a truther, Bob. You're a truther. As if that is derogatory. They use it. See, this is the Orwellian state. Truth is bad. Lying is good. To be a truther means that you want to get to the truth. That's a good thing. But today, it's regarded as crazy. War is peace. We have a Nobel Peace Prize winning president who kills, murders, children, pregnant women, the elderly, who bombs funerals, weddings. Are you not getting something here, America? Something is very wrong with our country and something is very wrong with every American who goes along with this. This guy sounded quite intelligent. This guy was very articulate and he was immediately shut down from this wonderful NPR host of a radio bullshit talk show. Don't bring up anything serious. Don't engage in facts and evidence. This guy just throws out all scientists agree with me or I agree with them because I don't know anything about this science. Morons. We have morons on mainstream media. Morons. You just keep getting shut down. Whenever you discuss something that mainstream media has been told never to discuss. 